like push them down and see how long it's going to take him to get back up. You know what I mean? You know, you can tell him that you'll see him tomorrow. You know what I mean? But this is the thing. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. Does that make sense? And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I'm not here today to tell you that I understand your pain. I don't know how it feels to be abused. I don't know how it feels to feel, quote, fat and you've got an eating disorder. I don't know how it feels to have a broken home. I don't know how it feels. But I know how it feels to have a broken heart. And I know how it feels to be alone. And I want you to know that I found my strength in Jesus Christ and you're going to find your strength in whatever you find it in. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? And you will find that strength to get back up like this. How did I get from depressed to who I am today? Because I tell you, I was depressed. When I was age eight, I used to concentrate on the things I didn't have. I wish I had arms and legs, and I wish I could do this, but what can I do? You see, I have a choice, and that's what I want to talk about today, choices. I can either be angry for not having arms and legs or be thankful for my chicken drumstick. And you see, I can still do a lot of things. At home, I can brush my teeth, comb my hair, get myself ready in the morning. And I'm traveling around the world. It, it's, it's amazing. But I had to ask myself a couple questions. And the first question was really, who am I? Who am I? I'm Nick Vujicic, but who is that? And it's funny how the friends around you sort of determine who you are. You change yourself. You come to school. And everybody swore around me at high school, so I started swearing. Why? Because it's the cool thing to do. Everybody swears. So I don't want to be left out, and I want to be accepted, so I started swearing. You go to a party, everybody's drinking, so you drink. Why? Why well, everybody else around me is doing a big deal. And you start losing yourself, and you start putting your security in temporary things. You start putting your happiness in things that won't last. You can get drunk all you like, but in the morning, you're going to be sober with a headache with the same problems. You want to be high the rest of your life on drugs? Everybody say, don't do drugs, don't do drugs. Well, why? Why do we even go there? It's either out of curiosity, peer pressure, or trying to escape reality. Basically, three things. That's why we go to drugs, sex, alcohol. Why do you do it? Because it feels good. Okay, that's how we're doing it. I mean, if you want something... You go get it. You want to buy something, you save up money, you go get it. Why? Because that will make you happy. And we take these steps in the wrong direction. That will, Don't worry, Nick. Drugs and alcohol won't take me away from my dreams and my purpose and sex and all that. No. But I tell you, it actually will. Because you go to a level of drinking and you go to a level of drugs and it's not enough. You'll find that out. And then you try something new. And then you'll also go to school and people will put you down. And parents will tell you that you're a failure because you failed at a test. And you start believing the lies around you, saying that you're not good enough and no one's going to want you and you'll never ever do anything good in your life and you'll never ever you know, achieve, the, achieve the dreams and goals that you wish you had done or wish that you could do. And these steps take you closer. That voice saying, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. And all you need is one more step to fall. So you have a choice to know which step you're going to take today. 
Let me ask you, do you know who you are? You want to know who I think you are? You care about what your friends think who you are. You, know? you care about their opinion. You want to know who I am? You want to know what I think you are? I'll tell you right now. I don't care how you look. Honestly, if you're 400 kilos, I'm going to come up to you and give you a hug and say that I love you. I don't care if you're fat, short, tall, thin, what, I don't care. Man. I really don't care how you look. I don't care what you're good at. I don't care what you're not good at. I don't care if you like rock and roll music or not. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you're a good mathematician or a good athletic or not good at anything that you think. But I'm going to come and tell you that you're awesome just the way you are. I know so many teenagers who look themselves in the mirror and wish that they had a different body. Girls, you're beautiful just the way you are. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Just, I love you just the way you are. And you boys, you're the man. <laughs> because it's not how you look. When you see me for the first time, many of you felt sorry for me. Do you feel sorry for me anymore? No. Why? Because you know who I am. But don't you remember I have no arms and no legs? Would you want to be my friend? Of course you would. Why? Because you like who I am. But I have no arms and no legs. And you're going to say, so what? So when you say, well, I have this or I don't have that, I'm going to go, so what? I don't care. You are worth more than diamonds. All the diamonds in the world, you are so precious. Every single one of your hearts, you can do something. Not just something that you can do, but you can live life. Life is not always good. Life is always not rosy. But life is worth living when you find purpose. Nick, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know. My parents want me to do this. My teachers want me to do that. My friends think that I should do this, and I don't know what to do. And you're torn, man. You don't know what to do. You have to make important decisions, man. You don't know what to do. Who do you believe? You follow your heart. If that's who you want to be, if that's what you want to do in life, then walk to it. One day at a time. That phone might feel so far away. In fact, it might seem impossible for you to reach that. Let's say that phone was all the way at the back of the room. How am I going to get off this table? I can't. How am I going to get there? I can't. But I want you to know that nothing is impossible. And if it is impossible for your dreams to come true, let's say you want to become a pilot and you can't be a pilot for some reason, maybe your eyesight or maybe your height. I know somebody who couldn't be a pilot. They're doing something now that they actually love to do. See, all things come together for the good. That's how it is in my life. You see, there's nothing good about having no arms and no legs, is there? No. If I, you know, click my fingers, metaphorically speaking, and your arms and legs disappeared, do you think you'd be happy with me? No, you'd come run after me and headbutt me, okay? Because there's nothing good about having no limbs. But I love my life. Do you want to know why? Because I've seen the purpose. Because I have no arms and no legs, you're all listening to what I have to say. This is maybe the most attentive you've been in any guest speaker. Because everybody else is boring and what would they know anyway? That's what you think. Don't worry, I was at school too. Like, what do you know? I don't care what many people have to say. They have no idea what I'm going through. What pain do they know? But you see me and you see what sort of pain I could go through and what I've gone through. And all of a sudden now, I'm seeing all of you, and maybe for the first time, you're believing these words out of my mouth saying, I love you. And you don't even know me, but you actually believe that I do love you. You see, it's an unconditional love. You don't have to do anything for me to love you. I just love you. Why? I don't know, because I just love you. Why? It's love. It's unconditional love. 
Not only is it about you and your life, but what about the people around you? You know, if, if you think that you have no purpose, Nick, I don't know what I want to do. You know, I wish I could do this, but I don't think this is going to happen in my life. Let me tell you this. So many people came up to me and said, Nick, I don't have a purpose. I don't know what to do in my life. Let me ask you one thing. If you went through your life full of pain, full of tears, and at the end of your life, you actually saved somebody's life, is your life worth living? Is the pain worth someone's life? If you could actually save somebody? Can you imagine? If you actually saw somebody nearly get run over a car, you dive and get them out of the way of the car, for instance, an example, would that be worth living? You save somebody's life. I don't know. What about this? Let's say that you have a problem in your life and you want to give up now 